Well, I think it does a couple things. I think number one, um, I think it, it uh, tells you the commitment from the university uh, to our athletic department that we want to compete for championships in our conference. And I think anytime you have student athletes come to Minnesota State Moorhead, um, be a student athlete, you want to give them a equal opportunity to compete at the highest level. And so this commitment for our basketball program does that. How did you manage to do that? I know you're known for funding previously where you were at before. How did you manage to get it well, where you're at now? I think, well, I think it's a, it's a, a, you know, we're all about teamwork here in our athletic department. And I think it's been a, a great um, uh, togetherness from, from our athletic director, Doug Peters, to our development team, to our president, Edna, um, to our coaching staff, to our student athletes. I think it's been a group effort to get to the point we are now and we're not done yet we have uh, a ways to go talk about the off season did you take any time off when your season ended did you take a couple weeks just to well you know you never really have a chance to do that after the season because you have to recruit uh, immediately as far as signing some players and we're very happy we signed um, five really good student athletes I think I fit our university fit our, our offense and defensive scheme uh, on the floor and they represent the type of young men we want to get here uh, to our university off the floor as well. So we're excited. We think we're heading in the right direction. And, uh, you know, we're excited to get going in September for fall workouts. You mentioned the class, length, athleticism. Is that something where right away you noticed you got to get longer? Well, I think in this league you have to certainly be big. And we always want to be big, but we also want to be skilled. Uh, we're not an offensive scheme where we just have guys from block to block. We want them to come out and be able to do some things off ball screens and pick and pop and pick and go mid-range. Um, and then also uh, we, we want guards that are skilled. So we want to have multi-dimensional offensive players and guys that are overachievers, or I shouldn't say overachievers, but high achievers. Um, guys that have a commitment to our program. Talk about Jake Linvers, transferred from Albany. How big is he going to be for you this upcoming year? Well, he's 6'10", and I think he has a skill set that not a lot of 6'10 players have. Um, you know, I think, I think that um, anytime you have that kind of size, you're going to have a great advantage over some other players. But to be able to do some of the things from the perimeter, that he can drive it from the perimeter, um, he can pick and pop and shoot threes. He was a very good three-point shooter in high school. We know he can shoot that shot. And then obviously he's got some good skills in, in the block area. So um, the other thing I like about him is he, he has a very good attitude on the defensive side of the floor, which is important. Do you expect him to make a contribution kind of like Chapman did last year or it's pretty significant right out of the gate? Yeah, I certainly would anticipate him. You know, obviously we uh, all positions positions are open every year. Um, nothing's ever set in stone, but we certainly would expect him to compete for a starting position right off the bat. Talk about your latest commit uh, from Australia, Kenny Scott Kenny. Scott Kenny. Talk about him. What does he bring to the table? Yeah, we're excited. You? We think he's a really good player. Um, he's six four. He's a tremendous shooter. A very quick. Um, you know, as far as a catch and shoot guy, can come off screens with. Uh, great speed and ability to catch and shoot uh, very quickly. So it's, he's he's very hard to to defend in that in that regard. Um, the other thing I like about him is he's very good passer, unselfish, and high basketball IQ. And we allow our guards to do a lot of things off ball screens. And to be able to have an offense like that, you have to have guards that have a high IQ and are able to handle that kind of freedom. And so he's be able to do some things off the bounce, whether it's pull up, get to the rim, or drive and dr drive and draw, and then drop it or kick it out to another shooter on the perimeter. So uh, he can do some things that I think will fit our scheme really well. Um, he's a good solid defender. Um, you know, and obviously uh, being 6'4 and a little bit longer uh, will help too on the, at the three spot. What do you see as the biggest area of improvement for this team going into next year? Um, well, it's hard to say. I mean, I think we the players did a good job of buying into what we brought to uh, the table. I think we did a good job of changing the culture, of trying to have the mindset of a winning, a winning culture. Um, but now it's going to be more difficult uh, next year because I think programs will uh, have high expectations as we play them. And we're not going to sneak up on anybody anymore. And so now we have to accept that next challenge. And I think our guys will do that. I'm looking forward to seeing how they'll handle it. Do you like that, or you're not the underdog anymore, or people? Well, we don't want to be an underdog. We want to be a, a program that people talk about that is one of the top tier uh, programs in our league. And if you are one of the top tier programs in our league, you're going to have a chance to compete in the national tournament. 
and then you know let the chips fall in the main the national tournament. So we always want to be a program that's spoken highly of. We're not uh, there yet, but I do think we have the personnel and, and the type of mindset um, that we're going to get there, and we might get there this year.